Hey there, fellow wackadoos. Welcome to episode 18, The Joy of Cubasic. Let's get sticky. All right, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry to too <laughs> clickbait you there with my title, but what can I say? In a past life, I was a sit-down comic. What is a sit-down comic, you're wondering? Well, that's a stand-up comic whose audience is always cheering him, saying, Sit out! Sit out! Sit out! So anyway, welcome back to Dr. Doodle's Cubasic Asylum, and... Yep, that's me, Dr. Doodle, right here. Uh, so this time, episode 18, yeah, it's uh, the joy of Cubasic. And I know what you're thinking, you purrs, but no, we're talking joysticks this time. <laughs> Shoot up the bad guys' joysticks. So, uh, luckily, Cubasic has some great, uh, some easy functions for us to use it. Piece of cake, hopefully a short one this time. Let's get right to it. Uh, if you notice... My trusty laptop, she know here this time. Mm -mm. Because I uh, had to use my desktop, uh, my, my desktop, because I got the old joystick with the, what, the, um, oh, it plugs into the sound card, and uh, it, the laptop didn't have any of that. So, over to the laptop. Batman. Now, if we're going to use a joystick, we, of course, need a couple things. First of all is a joystick. We've got to have this thing. We need it uh, installed and working properly. And not only that, but we need to calibrate it. What am I talking about? Calibration? Well, let's, I'll show you what I mean uh, here. Boom. Run. Now, here I've got the joystick. You see it pretty much hits the whole screen there. I can go up, down, left, and right. But I don't know if you can see it so well on this, this camera, but right here I've got a little slider right there. These are to calibrate the joystick. Watch when I move this slide here. See how it went down there? Now, if I press up, not a problem, but if I pull back, I can't go anywhere because it's already slammed to the bottom. All right, I move it back the other way. Okay, now we're up at top. I can't go up any higher, but I can move it down. So what I need to do is make sure that the joystick, this little slider here, puts it right about in the center of the screen. You, oddly enough, you don't really need to calibrate a mouse or a, a keyboard or whatever, but same here with the X and Y. You want to make sure it's calibrated so you can move in both directions. Uh, da, 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 there we go, like that. And we center the thing until we get... Mm, mm, mm. All right, it was, there we go. Now we're in center. Boom, we're all set. So now we've got our joystick installed. We've got it calibrated. Let's take a look at this code and see how it works. Hang on one second. And All right, so here we got QBA 18, and we're going to go up to the top here. QBA 18 base, Let's Get Sticky by Dr. Doodle, copy left 2023. I, I literally whipped this up just yesterday sometime. In any case, so uh, with, you'll see what happens here. Well, let's run this, uh, run this pig. Boop. What do we get? All right, so we see that the crosshairs on the screen there. Uh, yeah, if, like if there was enemies on the screen, we could just pull the trigger and pew, shoot them, boom, 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 boom. Or if we hit the second button, boom, drop a bomb on their butt. There we go. So that's all we do. We, we're just tracking where the, the joystick is and uh, what trigger, if any, is, is pressed. So start out by we go on screen 12. Now this is graphics mode 12. It's 640 by 480 pixels, but only 16 colors, not the 256 we're used to with screen 13. Now with dim crosshairs, 385 bytes. That, that's a, an array that we're going to save the image of the crosshairs in. Now we go sub draw crosshairs. What do you suppose draw cross, crosshairs might do? Well, I would imagine that it probably draws crosshairs and of course here we got the line that's the the box around and the other lines and this and that now we get the this is where we actually get the image put it into the crosshairs array now we put the crosshairs array to get rid of it until we need it again and we've we've, we've uh initialized program we've gone sub draw crosshairs we clear the screen now we go to the main loop so we do and loop while in key is nothing basically we hit a key then clear screen and system meanwhile we start here and you see x and y x equals stick zero y equals stick one what's that well this let's just cheat and uh, <laughs> we'll take a look at the built-in help for stick and this will help us out yes now, it returns the coordinates of the joystick. It, simple as that. You see the stick, you got the number there, you put in, if there's an X coordinate of joystick A, one is, it, zero is X coordinate of joystick A, one is the Y coordinate of joystick A, and then if you have a second joystick, maybe you're playing a game where player one goes and then player two goes, like that. But anyway, this would be for joystick B if you had a second one. Now, you must call stick zero before stick one, two, or three, and stick zero records the current coordinates. 
but if you notice here where does it go okay yes well there's the the uh, example but you'll see in, in the code here we'll escape out of here so that's how we get the current x uh coordinates of the joystick and the current y coordinates now b1 and b2 these are strig what's this strig all about well they're the buttons so strig will help uh, uh strig here we go we want the strig function not the statement now Strig, I guess the word strig is a contraction of, of stick, trigger, strig, trigger. All right, so now we've got a value that specifies what you want to find out. Now, if you got the number zero through seven, and so you call strig zero, one, two, three, whatever. Zero is the lower joystick. I guess this is trigger A right here. It was pressed since the last strig. We don't care what was pressed since the last time or what. All we want to know is it currently pressed. So we're looking for strig one. Lower joystick A trigger is currently pressed. So if we, we if we call strig one, it's checking is this butt trigger currently pressed. Now we want to know that's for joystick B there. We can ignore that. Now four and five, the uh, five is what we want. Upper joystick trigger joystick a trigger is currently pressed that's this button here if you got more buttons i don't know what you do but this the joy cubasic can handle a joystick with two buttons so lower and upper so we're just tracking that information and now you see here it says strig returns a negative one if the condition is true zero otherwise and keep in mind that that's important so what we're doing we're we're capturing the X and the Y coordinates from stick zero and stick one. Then the B1 and B2 status, whether they're pressed or not, using strig one and strig five. Boom, that's all there is to, to get this, the stick. And now we got hairs. This is where we're putting the, the crosshairs, the X position, Y position. And if you notice, this is X times two because we're looking at the stick wherever it is, multiplying by two and add 77. Why did we do that? Well, let me just take this out here and the y out here or that x2 out here run and what do we got there's our, our crosshairs but notice i've just got this much motion motion i need to have it go farther so I'll multiply by two and it gives us more range of motion simple as that okay so we're back here x times two and now you may have to adjust that according to whatever your screen mode you're using how big your screen is uh, how um, what's the word how sensitive your joystick is and, and and then of course add 77 to move it over to the center and 20 to bring it down to the center and vertically again those numbers you'll have to adjust to your system whatever the joystick you happen to have now we put hairs X and hairs Y the crosshairs. We've calculated the position for the, the X and Y position for the crosshairs. We put them there. We put them in the same spot again to get rid of them so you're not tracking them all over the screen. And we, you know, I don't know if I showed you this here. Locate. Boom. We'll uh, yeah, activate that and run and you'll see Yes, now we've got, here's our joystick, our, our crosshairs moving around, but we also have the X and Y position. Can you see that? Yep, on screen there, X and Y. And then, of course, now these are the triggers, so I'll press 1, and notice it's negative 1 now. And then this one here, boom, that's negative 1, so it dropped a bomb on them. Basically, the idea is if the, either trigger is pressed, it gets negative 1. So what we do, we don't need to print this anymore we'll just comment that out now if we look if b1 is not zero meaning you've pressed it then you go sub fire if b2 is not zero then you press the second button and you go sub bombs away so let's look at those those uh subroutines now and where's fire here it is fx is fire hairs hairs x plus 25 fy is hairs y plus 25 what's happening here well we're tracking where the crosshairs are so we know where to fire but we're adding 25 let's just take this out and you'll see why i do this and we'll run again so there's our crosshairs now let's fire our enemy the same as enemies right here we hit fire boom Look at here instead of the center the our lasers are going right to the top left corner why is that well, it's because QBasic, it doesn't know what this image is, how big it is. All it knows is where's the top left corner. That's all it cares about is the top left corner. So we're tracking that top left corner. But if you notice, we want to shoot here. So I add 25 to bring the, the lasers over and then 25 to bring them down. We'll escape here. We'll put those back in and then you'll see that 
as before, plus 25, plus 25, there we go. And this is only because my image is 50 pixels high. You may need to uh, adjust according to whatever image you put on screen. And of course, yep, there we go. Because again, we're tracking this, but we just move over and down so that we get in the right position. And then the bomb, it doesn't really matter. It's just uh, boom, boom, mass destruction there. But same idea. Uh, we, when we hit fire, we're call, we hit the first button, we call the fire subroutine, and it, it, it corrects for the, the, the location, it puts the lasers so they're aiming in the right spot. Now we do line one, line two. These are the, uh, the four corners, of course. We draw the four corners, shoop, 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 and then we delay for a bit. Then we draw them all, same lines, but in black to get rid of them. Again, so they're not tracking over the screen. We give it about 10 loops to, to so you can see it. Otherwise, it's so fast, all you see is blink. Then we return. Now, bombs away, same idea, except this time, BX equals B for bomb. X is here's plus 25, here's Y plus 25. Same thing, we're uh, compensating for the width of the image and for Z equals 1 to 50 color we're just adding color so we, color starts out as, as one so which is what dark blue and then it goes to green red etc and each time through it it, it uh, adds yeah adds one C equals C plus one if it's greater than 15 it brings it back to one so one up to 15 back down to one up to 15 we d draw the circle in Z from 1 to 20 1 to 50 excuse me that's the radius expanding that's why it looks like that next Z that we, we do this uh, do so, okay here we're, we're checking string again and we're looking for bot B2 button 2 that's if this is if this is currently being held we pause until uh, B2 equals zero. That's so we're not constantly drawing bombs all over the place. You hit the button, shoo, drop a bomb, and nothing else happens until you release that button. So there's bombs away. That's pretty much it for the, the program. Uh, let's see if I got everything to do. We draw, uh, yeah, we, we check where our X, X and Y coordinates are using stick zero and stick one. Then we check the status of the buttons using string one for the first button this guy right here and string five is this guy because remember there's the a and b and all the nonsense there now we calculate where we're going to put our crosshairs and then we put them in the, the, the relevant location put them again to get rid of them then if b1 is not zero if we press the button then we go sub fire you saw that happen if b2 is not zero then we hit second button then we drop the bombs loop while in key is nothing clear street system and uh, clear screen and system that does it so it's simple as that stick stick string and string that's all you really need and of course if you had a second a second joystick then well then you would just go to the different numbers one two three etc um, and again you will have to like here I'm adding 77 here I'm adding 20 you'll have to change those according to what screen mode you're using how big your screen is how uh, sensitive your your joystick is oh here's something interesting let's hold on one second uh, exit yes now we are back in windows and uh, as you can see we got here's our control panel where is it up oh, right there boom now I don't know your your system may or may not uh, have this function but gaming options is what we're looking for and I mentioned earlier our, our controllers our joystick make sure it's uh, calibrated so we got to try see here we can test it here and move the joystick and the little X can you see that on screen going around that little box there wee and left right up and down and then the buttons I press the first button second button yep we're good we're coordinate uh, we're calibrated here and the settings here if if it was not calibrated we go like this and set the controller position now we press a button on the controller boom there it is now to set the range of motion move its handle again you may have none of this stuff but I'm just cal calibrating my joystick and next again and confirm position leave the handle center press the button and finish so apply that okay and properties yes of course it already was calibrated but that would be the the process I'm sure your computer would have a similar function if it or uh, yeah so it's control I'll put it that way but let's go back here 
Well, all right, so that will just about do it for QBA 18. We done got sticky. Now it's time to check out superiors. And oh, you're going to love this one this time. Uh, we'll talk about a fella. His, he calls himself Nighthawk and Light. You, you're going to love this. This guy, wow. Hey, hold on a second. Let me bring that bad boy up. All right, so Nighthawk and Light, as you can see right here. And wow, videos here. Now, this fella. He does all sorts of uh, just wacky and interesting and, and just fascinating videos, uh, uh, science, uh, physics, things like that. And what's this here? Oh, this one's cool. I saw this. The impossible glass cutting with a DIY gla sand blaster. So what he does, he puts like tape around there. You see what's tape around a tube and the sand blasts it and you get you end up with that. Now we got how to make it, the levitating hot dog cooker. That was cool. The thing literally floats in the air while it cooks. <laughs> and what else we got here? This is acoustic energy surprising ways to harness it uh oh the bat signal that's cool uh flash graphene yeah unbelievable things this man's got i just where's the one i saw a while back that was pretty cool uh recycled bottle cutter okay um, there was um somewhere he had this gun that shot out it was um cool it was a gas thing and boof, like a almost like a flamethrower but not quite well, look at what we got here. We got, can you hold a forge in your bare hands? Whoa, I wouldn't want to try it, but he did. What well, says, how to make synthetic ruby in the workshop. That's pretty wild. Yeah, Nighthawk and Light. Oh, oh this one's cool. I've seen the, the Tesla valve. That's neat. Of course, our good old friend Nikola Tesla, he uh, he invented that Tesla valve. It's pretty amazing. And this guy, he explains it in a way no one else has been able to. Uh, back, wow, backyard roller coaster. That's cool. But it, Nighthawk and Light, all the coolest thing. And most of the stuff you can do yourself. It's, it's a pretty simple thing. Well, I don't know if I, I couldn't build myself a roller coaster. But simple things. That, well, the sound, sand blaster. Yeah, look, it's a pill bottle he's used for the sand blaster. And uh, you got to check out Nighthawk and Light. He's There it is. There's the, the bottle rocket launcher. That thing is cool. Uh, you just check that one, if nothing else. That one's fun. So check out uh, Nighthawk and Light. I even, even dig here. Uh, look at his logo. That's pretty cool. And Nighthawk and Light. Light, you will be happy. That's some fun one, so you gotta check it out. <gasps> All right, back to the video. We'll wrap this pig up and uh, call it a day. So hang on a second. Here we go. Uh, well, all right. So uh, yeah, I guess that'll about do it for this episode here. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, if you got friends that uh, might be interested in something like this, or even if you, well, I guess you must be. You wouldn't be watching it. But in any case. Uh, feel free to share this crap with someone else. And don't forget to uh, leave a comment. Just ask me what the hell I'm talking about. Just comments. You don't to ask me what you need to know. I can't. I don't know what you need to know. Uh, but don't forget that I also uh, I put this code down in the, the description dealy somewhere down there. You just you'll find links to all this crap. Uh, so download it, run it, have fun. And uh, now if you'll excuse me, we done got sticky. I'm about to go, go get crunchy, baby. Uh, no, I have no idea what that means. But it sure sounds vile, doesn't it? Hasta la pizza, baby.